Now then guys, how are we doing? Thank you for joining me again. So, it's not all doom and gloom. We've got all the way to the 31st of January. And at this moment in time, we've still got Martarana. That's the big one. Obviously, to remind ourselves that Stevie's leaving. St. Amar is off to Newcastle United. And we have lost one other player between episodes. So Ancora has left us. He has gone to Rio Ave. This is a team that was after Martarama, but again, I've been done over by a release clause. Now, we paid £4 million for him, and for whatever reason, I've made a decision when I've renewed his contract or sorted his contract out to put a £1.5 million release clause in there. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I say, we paid £4 million for him, but they come in, £1.5 million, activated his release clause and off he's gone so we've made a 2.5 million loss on him but Ancora off to Portugal we've still not managed to bring anybody in and today we come right back in in fairness for the transfer deadline day so the start of this episode will all be about that and then we'll take on St Johnson in the middle and then we'll finish off with the midnight deadline rush so let's get into it so your transfer deadline day has added the complication of your match against St Johnson will that have any effect no we'll just be fine you know, I have got some options in there. We should start to see some players appear shortly, hopefully, as I've put plenty of offers in. So, Dosek is delayed due to work permit. So, Bohemil Dosek. Now, this guy, is he good or is he good? 17-year-old Czech Republic, under-21 international. He is incredible. Yes, I'm going to pay big money for him, but he's played at Slavia Prague all the way through. 13 starts already in the Czech Premier League. And I've put a bid in for 14.75 million, but I think that's good money. As long as I don't mess up his release clause, we should be all right. So Suarez is also delayed, a player on free transfer, while Suarez. So he's coming in, central midfielder, 18-year-old, capped at under-19 level up for Portugal. And will be a free transfer. Now, if I can get him in free in January, then we're on to a winner. If not, he'll join us at the end of the season. So, Raymond Hendricks is delighted to have green terms with us. Now, he is a 24-year-old Dutch centre-back. I've basically brought him in to play on that left-hand side as Ancora's gone. Can play in the middle. He's not the greatest player, I'm going to be honest. You know, he's not going to improve the squad. £2.9 million. Pound. I'm just hoping when we press his accept button, he's worth more than that when he joins us. So, let's go. Buta, a player that we're looking at, another left-back. He, he can sign for us, but his work permit's been rejected. So we'll cancel that. And we've got a question from the press. So speculation persists that Nicholas Del Vigo will be leaving Tynecastle. He's not going anywhere. We'll respond. And unless there's appropriate interest and the offer's good enough, Del Vigo won't be going anywhere. So Raymond Hendricks then confirmed sign. And so he's currently three and a half star potential. Let's have a look at him then. So he's decent, you know, and he's valued at 4.6 million. That's the big thing. 14 head and 15 mark and 12 tackling. 24-year-old, time is still on his side as well, 6 foot and 2.9 million joins us from Feyenoord. Only played three times for them this season, 6.5 rating as well. He won't be a starter for us, but he will feature. Squad registration then. Let's confirm the selection. Assigned squad number. What number we got for him? 20. 22. Submit the numbers and we're good to go there. Now let's ask Brown to welcome him to the club. He's delighted, why not? Del Vigo heading for exit, I don't think so. One Q2, a very, very good player. We are breaking the bank with the wages for him. He will be our best paid player. I don't know though. 23 year old, Brazil under 20 international. Gonna join us from Bournemouth on a free transfer. The thing is, like, if I get him in, he is value for money. Let's just get him in. He's joining us, obviously he's on loan. He's joining us from Manchester City. So he'll join us at the end of the season. That has been confirmed. How seriously has your transfer budget been depleted by the sort of deals you've made in this window? We've got plenty of money in the bank. There's plenty left to spend. And speculation persists that Miss Clark could be leaving. We're going to decline that. He's not going anywhere. We've had some offers in for him. They're like an £18 million bid in. It's not enough for him. It's much more than that. And so here we go then. We've got our game against St. Johnson. But again, we'll go through the games that have happened between episodes as we currently find ourselves three points behind Celtic. Not a bad place to be. And remember, we're still unbeaten. We are still unbeaten. So I've spoiled that for you already. But schedule-wise, when we have a look, we had that 4-0 victory over Dundee United. Then a 1-1 draw with Aberdeen. Wasn't great. We had 21 shots, 7 on target. They had 5-4. and four. We took the lead through Brown on 23 minutes. And a late goal by Roof breaks hearts on 88 minutes. We had 65% possession. I only managed 35. 
We then smashed Tibbs 2-0. No doubt here as they didn't even manage a shot on target. 22 shots, 8 on target, 65% possession. St. Amar on 36, Mitrovic with a penalty on 45, gets us all 3 points. And then another late goal against Celtic as we concede in the 90th minute person with a goal there after Lombardo scored on 50 and Mitrovic missed yet another penalty. He scored 6 out of 10 penalties in all competitions. That is shocking. We've also had some big offers in for Mitrovic. £18 million had in, I rejected that. But I think, you know, maybe we should look at selling him on. At the end of this season, it might be time for him to go. We just need to see how Stewart gets on, who's just come in. So team selection for today's game then is Gory and Goal, Clark, Lombardo, Sutar and Logan, with Shalabar and Hold and Roll, Divine Rina, Motter and Kagul, with Stewart and Mitrovic up front. So from the social roundup then, Richard Dick says Lombardo starting is good. And Kevin Jardine says we'll beat them again and Clark will continue his amazing form. They're absolutely loving Clark. You know, they've gone off Suter at the minute. But it's fair to say we're on a good run and we need to carry that on. So here we go then. Celtic are losing already against Aberdeen. It's 1-0 there. Rangers 0-0 with Hamilton. Rangers are long gone. You know, they're not the force they once were. They keep trying to bow our players though. As Clark has a long loop and throw into the box. Kragul isn't going to get there. Stewart has scored. There you go. Stewart on his debut. 12 minutes in and it is 1-0. That is one of the worst goals we'll see. You know, the ball just bounces about in the box. The keeper stays at home. What is he doing? Stewart probably won't score an easier goal. As he hits the underside of the bar, the post, and then it goes in. Celtic 1-1 with Aberdeen now. Turnbull has scored. And Turnbull has missed a penalty on 16 minutes. It's safe to say that Celtic are probably going to win that one. As Aberdeen have scored again. Smith on 26 minutes. It's now 2-1 there. Right, here we go then. We need to get all the possession. We do Sutar to Logan. Rinna Motta out to Kragul. Right, can you find a way through? Rinna Motta to Divine. It's cut out. We're back in possession. It's a wet day today as Kragul is through on goal. And that is a great finish, Kragul. It was a cracking ball through as well. Shalabar on it, Kragul, what a finish, outside of the boot, round the keeper, 2-0 on 34 minutes, that Celtic result is massive if it stays like that, this is a free kick in a dangerous area then, Thomas with the ball across, Gordon it's blocked, Shalabar gets in the way, Divine on it, Rangers are 1-0 up now against Hamilton, it's getting to half time, 2-0 and hopefully Celtic will be losing as well. If we'll check the latest scores. Celtic have scored. It's two apiece. We can't even see the goal scorers. It's only just happened. Surprise, surprise. Dressing room wise then. For us, I'm very happy with how things are going. Tactically, do I make any changes? Probably not, if I'm honest. There's Rinna Motter and Diviner on 6.8. Maybe get Rinna Motter off, but fitness wise, he's looking good. So we'll just carry on. Needn't take him off. He's not leggy. And there's a highlight then in the first 30 odd seconds of the second half. Clark with the ball through to Divine. Go on, lad. Easy piece. How has he not scored Kragul as, though? It's his ninth goal of the season. He's second of the game. I don't know if that was a shot or an assist. Either way, we put it in the net eventually. And it's 3-0. Start to the second half, that is. As we just need to keep on chasing Celtic. Goal difference will help us out. That is poor. I, mean, I can only assume that that is a pass. As Aberdeen are 3-2 up. Duffy scores on 46 minutes. Kragul's taken a knock. Like Clark with the long throw into the box then. Um, we need to get Kragul off. Which is unfortunate because he's on a hat trick. Xander Clark then with the ball out. Are we cutting it out? We're not getting there though. It's Bowie. He's on his way through. He's one on one. And it's off the side net, and I think. Right, we're making a change then. Doyle is going to come on for Kragul. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring Longstaff on for Rinna Motta. Matty Longstaff, back from his injury, his first game for us. You know, end of January, we bought him in August. Ain't great, we've had seven shots, six on target, and we're 3-0 up. Clark then on the ball, ball through the middle to Mitrovic. Longstaff, there we go, gets a touch. Shalabar, ball out, that's a cracking ball to Stewart. And he gets two on his debut. What a goal, Stewart gets it. Two for Stewart, two for Kragul. That ball from Shalabar there. As so we just watch it. And Stewart with a great finish. And straight into another highlight then. I sent Johnson on the ball. Can we nick it and go down the other end and score again? McCart on it. Get the press on. 
ball over the top. Sutar down. Here we go. We're back in possession. Longstaff with the ball through this time. Stewart heads it down. Out wide to Divine. Ball in. Stewart gets a hat trick on his debut. What a debut that is. It's 5 0. And I said this guy was going to be something special. He brought him in from Spurs where he never played a game. And what a finish that is. Now Divine with the ball in. On the volley. That is a great finish. Pick that out. A 77 then. Another highlight. Stewart on the ball. Clark to Divine. Go on. Is there another one coming here? Doyle. It's cleared away. Logan pick it up. Longstaff. We're going to make another opportunity here. We don't. That is wasteful. A Sutar down. St. Johnson have got no answers though. Stewart down. Doyle has a crack and we score again. It is 6 0. Another one of my January signings gets a goal. Now, here's me thinking we were going to be weaker losing these players. Diallo, like I say, is a decent player for us, but he wasn't a standout. He was solid. He'd done his bits. He'd done his bits quietly. That's what I want to be saying. As we're going to make a change, I'm going to get Martirana on for Divine. Give Sammy a run out towards the end of the game. And there's another highlight then as Clark goes short this time to Mitrovic. It's cleared away. Only to Clark, though. Great pass back to him. Longstaff has a crack. Can you imagine if he'd scored as well? As we could get another goal here. We are knocking on the door. Shalabar, Mitrovic, Clark, Martirana. Go on, Sammy, lad. It's blocked and it's cleared away. Corner ball. As Aberdeen go 4-2 up against Celtic. Longstaff with the ball in. It's cleared away. Martirana's chasing back. And it's a great tackle. Well time for a change from Sammy. He loves a red card. Celtic are losing 4-2 as Tate has a free kick. On the 90th minute, we don't want to play no games as Gory. I think that's the first save of the game for him as well. And there we go, it's full time. So we win 6 0. What a game! Hattrick for Stewart, Brace for Kragul, and a goal for Doyle. Perfect team performance. I'm very happy with that, lads. Well done. 6 0 victory helps our goal difference, especially if Celtic have ended up losing as well. And there we go, then Celtic ended up losing 4 2 to Aberdeen. So we go top of the league. Plus 47 goal difference as well. Dundee nil nil with Kilmarnock. Rangers 2 0 against Hamilton. Rangers currently 7 points behind us, and we have got a game in hand. Hibs 1 0 against Queen's Park. Hibs up into 4th there, a country mile away. And we win 6 0 away from home against St. Johnson. So, half the fans reacted then. Dale Jones says, Would like to see one or two different players get called up ahead of Stewart. Are you serious? He scored a hat trick. And Kragul is out for one to three days. Stewart sends hearts tops. What a debut that is. Let's let's give him some prayers. You superb in front of the goal. Three goals and an assist. The seven hours and fifteen minutes left of the transfer window as we're getting now down to six hours. Sky Sports have got a question for us as perhaps surprisingly it's a rather quiet deadline day in Scotland so far. We just haven't got the money up here though, have we? You know, we haven't got money to burn. We have. Um, and Celtic have. But nobody else, you know, there's not going to be any big deals going on. And for me now, the more I look at it, and that result has made me think, maybe we don't need anybody else. Get these couple of players in that I'm trying to get. And that is the end of it, as we've got one hour and 30 minutes left. Now, transfer-wise, obviously, we are waiting on some bits to be confirmed. So, Dosek will be getting in before the end of the window. Suarez, potentially. Now, Shanklin's going later on. And we're also trying to get a chief scout, but we've got all the time in the world for that. As a transfer deadline for Scottish clubs passes then, so that is it. So we didn't get the players in that we wanted before the deadline, which means, you know, we'll be pushing them in towards the end of the season, which means we'll basically be getting them next season now, unfortunately. So the biggest deal then of the Scottish transfer window roundup is Diallo going to Wuhan. £30 million there. Scenes, absolute scenes. The transfer deadline has passed. Squad registration, auto-select. Nobody's going to miss out, so confirm selection. And there we go. So where are you going to join me next then? Schedule-wise for us then, I think we come back for that second game against Lille. So you didn't see the draw, obviously. It happened between episodes. And the RSI side that I think we could beat. It's the first knockout round though. And, you know, there's plenty of big teams left in there. But it's a game, like I say, I think we should get through this one. We performed very well against those teams in the Champions League. So Lille, I think, could be there for the taking. So yes, we'll come back for Dundee and Lille in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you later. ta -ra.